All right, so welcome to today's podcast. My name is Scott Engler. I'm a published author and career coach, thought leader on career transition, professional branding, and LinkedIn. And so today I want to talk about really powerful principle that when learned and applied appropriately has a very, very effective success rate. And that is, as the title suggests, attraction rather than promotion. Now, the, the people that I primarily work with are typically at a job and are looking to transition either to a different industry or a different company. Now, one of the biggest challenges that I hear from people that I'm working with one-on-one is that there, there's this apprehension and fear of them really putting out there that they are looking for a new job, right? Because they're afraid they're going to get found out by their boss or there's, there's just, there's always some reason why they're afraid to really directly put that they're looking for a new job when they're at their, still at their current role. And what, what I've found in doing this for, for years now with people is there really is an art form of being able to still keep a, still keep like a low, uh, low radar but be high on the radar of recruiters. And so what I mean by that is not necessarily blatantly saying you're looking for a new job, right? And sometimes that's the case. Some people's bosses are perfectly aware that they're looking for a new role or there's some type of, they're in some type of contract position where they, their contract is coming to an end. And so obviously it's, it's understood that they're going to be looking for something new. But for the sake of today's podcast, let's just stick with the person who is currently at a job and they're in a negative work environment, they don't want to get found out, right? And so there's this fear that if they put out on LinkedIn that they're looking for a job, that they're going to get found out and fired and lose their job and lose their paycheck. And so, you know, this is, this is a, a very common fear I hear from, from people I work with and even job seekers I talk to all the time. So what I, what I want to talk about today is really the principle of attraction rather than promotion. Now, what that means, the way I'm trying to explain it, is how do you create your profile on LinkedIn or, a, or an image or a brand, right, that attracts recruiters and opportunities to you instead of having to say, you know, Scott Engler, career coach, looking to be a project manager, right? Because that, that became a big trend was, hey, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a project manager currently seeking new opportunities. Now, that, I feel my personal opinion on that, that worked really well at one point. It's gotten really, really, really overused. That headline saying that, looking for new opportunities. And again, that's just my own opinion. It was something good because it's not saying like, hey, I need a new job. So you're not like screaming desperation. But I just find that it's kind of lost its, um, I guess it's, it's lost the, the weight that it, that it held before. And so what I found when working with clients, especially because so many of them are currently at their job and they typically have this fear of getting caught, that there really is a creative way to... Uh, brand yourself and express what you do that will have recruiters coming to you. Now, one of the way, reasons why is A, for those of you that may not know this, 95% of recruiters around the world are using LinkedIn to look for top candidates. The other thing that a savvy recruiter and employer both know is that oftentimes the best candidates, the top talent, are what are called passive candidates. That means that recruiters and companies alike are very well aware that the best next opportunity they think for them is someone that's not necessarily looking for another job but might be open to a new opportunity. So that's where this principle is really powerful. And that's why my clients, even if they're, they are actively looking for work, could still attract rather than promote on their profile and get contacted. So that's really what I teach them how to do because that's what works well anyway. So what, what that looks like when you think, I think, you know, 
in my first book, The Job Interview, I compare job seeking to dating. And you think of, typically speaking, a woman, right, who's just this, got this elegance about her, and she's beautiful, and just the way she walks, she is attracting these men to her, and she's not promoting that she's single. So think about that for a second. If you've seen a woman, a lot of times there's just this aura about them that attracts men to want to come up to them and ask them out, you know, buy them dinner or whatever. And so this is the same principle that you could apply to attract recruiters because it really is just human nature. As much as some of us may not want to admit it, the truth is we are all attracted on some level to things that we can't have or seem scarce or are already taken, right? It's like, you know, that person becomes more attractive for whatever reason in our mind when they're wanted by somewhere, someone else. And so that's the same principle really here, especially if you're currently at a job. So what the, what the focus should be, if you are on um, LinkedIn, or you, if, you're, if you're not, you definitely should be if you're looking to switch roles, because like I said, that is the number one site in the world where 95% uh, of recruiters are looking for top talent and 93% are vetting candidates through that platform. So that being said, what you could do is let the work, let them come to you rather than filling on filling out all these online applications that take like sometimes up to three hours rather than wasting your time especially if you have a job already is to create a presence and profile on linkedin that attracts these opportunities to you so one of the ways that you can do that is a good picture you know people uh, a lot of times won't have a profile picture. I'll talk to people all the time that are like, oh, I'm just waiting to get a professional headshot. Da, 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 da. Well, how long have you been waiting? Oh, I've been waiting, you know, two years. <laughs> so my answer to that is just put something up that's good enough, right? You don't want, you don't need to put up a picture of you, um, you know, at a Mardi Gras parade, but put something of you that I, I like, I think a good combination is professional yet approachable, right? And so, I can't remember the exact statistic right now, but having a profile picture, I believe, is makes you 36 times more likely to receive a message on LinkedIn. So if you don't have a profile picture, put one up there. Good enough is the answer for that. And then having a nice banner, you know, maybe something that you're passionate about. For me, I have uh, my last book that was published, you know, so it gives obviously credibility. It looks cool because I had a graphic designer do it. So you know, that's just something that I did. And, you know, the next step would be attracting in your profile. So having tons of bullet points, which most people do about using some jargon, like administered five, this, 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 you know, at, at these organizations or like, you know, they're using like, like I joke, like a cardiologist report where they're just kind of using this industry jargon. Now, don't get me wrong. Keywords is a real thing that optimizes your profile and helps you be more visible. However, it's not going to attract and engage somebody that's going to want to contact you. So, you know, one of the things that I'm always clear about with people, and they, you'd be surprised how much of them don't do this, is add media to your profile. There is your summary where you could attach all these medias, and I always teach people put your top three forms of media in that section because most people don't even really read below the summary believe me six seconds is the average length of time a recruiter is going to look at your profile so you want to make a good impression fast so maybe you know that could mean totally different things for different professions it's whatever you feel like highlights yourself best so for example if you uh, were were a graphic designer or a web developer put up a website you've done you know, showcase your work that way. Or if you're more gregarious or maybe you're good on film, uh, you've been told that, put up a, vid a video clip of you saying, you know, why you do what you want to do, whatever. You know, put yourself in your highlight reel so that you will attract the right opportunities, right? You want to, <laughs> you want to attract like what you're doing best, right? So I'm laughing because I'm thinking, well, if you had a video of me trying to fix a car, uh, you would definitely not really be interested in talking to me uh, very much because I'm horrible at that kind of stuff. Whereas, you know, some of more, my more strengths are, 
in teaching, in doing podcasts, in writing. And so there's, you know, definitely areas where I'm better at than others. So the reason I'm sharing that example is think about how you can present yourself when with the media that you would use. And the other one is, you know, attra- like what attracts you? Think about what attracts you. If you have ever, you know, read someone's bio or read uh, you know, even like an online dating profile is a perfect example. What would what would attract you or engage you, or even you know, a recommendation would be look at other people's profiles and look at other people's profiles in your industry. What are other people doing that you could model after? That's really what, honestly that was the first thing when I had no idea what I was doing on, on LinkedIn and I started getting into it. Was I looked at like the people that were the top people in my industry and like, okay, how do they present themselves? What are they saying? You know, people that have done this for a lot longer than me. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel here, you know, model what other people are already doing well. And, um, you know, so, so just start um, uh, direct about looking for a job. But the other thing is that we're so bombarded with so much information now and so many people trying to desperately get our attention, right? They're trying, like my joke is that soon someone's gonna pop out of the screen and like yell at you when you're checking your email to like check out this video, like they're literally, there's gonna be a hologram. I I, I, I seriously think something like that's gonna happen because there's so many people and things always trying to get our attention now. So if you're the kind of person that could really not do what everybody else is doing and instead attract, you know, attract opportunities to you through your profile, just being yourself and really highlighting and accentuating yourself, then you would be surprised at how many opportunities will come to you. In fact, uh, not too long ago, I had some, you know, someone in that same exact boat. She was in, she did uh, employment law and so she was really concerned about uh, what to say on her profile, right? Because she, there was like, there was definitely like, in her case, which was actually a rare case, was like, there actually was like some like legal implications if she got caught or something like that because she's still on a project. So, you know, we were really careful when I helped her brand herself on her LinkedIn profile to really artfully explain what she did more clearly, more reflect- effectively, again, highlighting what her strengths were, um, using media to really um, enhance her profile. And she emailed me, uh, I'll never forget, she emailed me a week later, six days later, and she said, Scott, since we made these changes to my profile, I have been contacted by three different recruiters in the last six days about three different opportunities and this was a woman who for months was feeling so stuck at her job and she was you know trying to look for jobs on linkedin and i think she was even on job seeker premium applying to some but she wasn't hearing back about anything or let alone being contacted so that's really the power of this principle with applying the principle of attraction rather than promotion So if you're interested in uh, reading more of my articles or podcasts, you could follow me on LinkedIn, Scott Angler in Corvallis, Oregon, Scott, E-N-G-L-E-R. My website's www.thejobinner2ensinterview.com. And if you're interested about um, how I do this for other people and you were wanting to get some type of...